Now, which of the following schedules are in strict 2PL? So, what does strict 2PL mean? If you are going to take any lock on, exclusive lock on a data item, you are not supposed to release it until you commit. So, whatever shared exclusive locks you have on data items, just hold them till you commit. After that, you release them. So, if you can do that, then you can say that it is strict 2PL, right? Now, let's see this one. First one. Now, shared lock on A and again read A. So, which means we are taking a shared lock on A and again we are taking a exclusive lock on B. Now, you are actually unlocking both of them before you commit. That is why you cannot say anything about it, right? So, it is not strict. So, after committing only you are supposed to unlock, but before committing you have unlocked. Therefore, it is uh, not strict. Now, look at this one. What are the exclusive locks? Exclusive lock in this case is B and where did it, where did you unlock it only after you commit it, right? The other lock is not exclusive lock. Therefore, it is definitely strict. So, all the exclusive locks present in the uh, schedule are actually, we are actually unlocking it after the commit. Got it? Okay. And now, if you look at this one, what are the uh, exclusive locks? Exclusive locks, uh, exclusive lock is here. And now if you observe this exclusive lock B is unlocked after commit therefore it is strict. So one more point there since this shared lock is also unlocked after this commit this is also regress. But anyway what we are interested in is not finding out whether it is uh, you know regress or not we are only interested in strict according to the definition of strict if you have any uh, sh sh exclusive locks you are supposed to unlock them after commit and since you are doing it here don't worry about the other one so these two are definitely strict right so in fact if you think about uh, rigorous every rigorous is strict why in rigorous also you are going to release the exclusive locks only after commit right and you are going to do the same thing in conservative as well right therefore every conservative is actually okay if you want to see it this way every conservative let us say conservative rigorous and strict all right so every conservative is rigorous and every rigorous is strict all right so what i mean by this is see if you look at conservative you are going to release all the logs after uh, commit and the same thing is going to be applied in rigorous as well now if you look at rigorous you are going to release both the logs which means exclusive logs as well as shared logs after commit and coming to this uh, you know strict you have to talk about only exclusive right therefore since rigorous is doing both of them so it is already doing exclusive logs therefore every rigorous is already strict got it so that is what the meaning of this one is okay fine